Hey, happy 1111. It's me. I'm in the car. Tom's driving. We're on our way back from Pentwater, Michigan. And the Scully tour is over. It was fun. And it was fun. And it was fun. And the music was awesome. It was great to play, to meet Jake and to play with Cliff again. Hi, Julie. Thank you for being there tonight. I have on my singer's mask because I was singing. I actually sang with my mask on tonight for a little while. That was fun. Everything was fun. <laughs> a lot of fun going on. Oh, my light's probably going to... I didn't charge this one because I only have about 17 dongles to charge it. But they're all in, packed in the back of the car. Everything's packed. And we are driving. We're on our way to... I think we'll be in Holland pretty soon. We're making really good time. We played two long sets tonight and ended up um, leaving early, which was cool. How are you, Julie? I hope you had a good time hanging out with us tonight. I think I might have to turn this other light on. Might not be as becoming, but neither is this mask. But I actually it was I I had to try it. I sang with the mask on and it worked. It's not the you know most fashionista mask, but oh well. So it is Sunday and it's the 30th, August 30th for another 47 or so minutes. And then it's the 31st and then it's September. What in the world happened to June and July and August? My goodness. And there's one more week of Scully Tour. And bet you will be glad to sleep in my own bed tonight. Oh, I slept in a lovely bed. I had a beautiful bed. I had a great time. We were basically, we were in suites. I'm going to turn this one off because it's not, it's too dark. <sighs> but anyway, I, I'll be happy to, to be home and to walk. You know, I was on a golf course for the last five days. I think that's the longest I've ever been around a golf course in my life. But it was fun and people were nice there. The staff was great. Really great. And we walked, yesterday we were in Manistee, I think, and we walked out by the lighthouse, but it was still wet and not so great, so we didn't do that. So it was a good tour. And now I'm gonna go home, and Tom goes to Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne? Goes to Fort Wayne tomorrow. And the boys left, one lives in Alma, Oh yeah, it was lovely, right? It's beautiful. You wake up and go, oh, hi, it's beautiful. And then a few minutes away from the beach. But yeah, I'll be excited tomorrow to get back and and unpack the car tonight as we're, we'll, you know, get home at, we would usually be getting home around one. We're probably gonna get home closer to 12-ish, 12.30. So that's a good thing. Anyway, tomorrow will be Monday meandering and then a nice meditation tomorrow night and Tom and I are working on a meditation in the next couple weeks, weeks, figuring that out for Zoom and what else? Yeah, I need to learn Zoom this week. Oof. Got some new stuff on the laptop, the camera and some other things so anyway you guys all doing all right I hope so I'll post some photos from the band tonight that were really funny <laughs> there's one that Tom has he cast a shadow onto Cliff and it looks like an angel wing and I said well yeah it's because you're an angel he was Tom worked so hard because he was like musical director, but he, I never asked him to do that, and he just did it, and then he just played his, he was so 
good. And he's in the car, so I'm, you know, trying to keep him wide awake and say how great he was. But he was really great. You're welcome. So I hope you're all having a good night. And I don't know where Mama Grace is, but I think I'll just let her know that she'll say, I didn't see you tonight. But she saw us for a little bit. But now in the 1111, I don't know if you're here, Mama Grace. Are you here? I feel like I'm in that Queen video again. Mama just killed. Because I can't see anymore. I can just see my face. But the singer's mask, if you're a singer, it's not the most becoming unless you are attracted to Donald Duck or Daffy. But I think that it worked. Hi, Christy, McDonald, Duncan, how are you? I saw Phil the other day. I asked him to be on the show sometime. So I'm looking forward to that. Local celeb on the show. And talk about school and laugh. That will be fun. Yep, I'm all about love and fun. There's a micro tell. I like micro tells. Sounds good, the band? Lulanza. When are you coming back on the show, Lou? I want to know what's going on. So, oh, really quick, are your kids back in school or are they virtual? Everyone did a fabulous job this week. Oh, it was wonderful. So, Lou, I'm missing all the crafts, kid crafts. And if they are in school, are they virtual or are they back in the school? Crazy. Oh, Oh, hi, Bill. Thank you. We'll get to play together one of these days, right? We need to. Virtual for the first month. Okay. I bet that's nuts so crazy. So you have to come on the show this week because we need to, <laughs> we need to know what's going on. Thank you. Thank you, William. Thank you. And thank you. I see that you've been posting and we need to get together this week. Oh, it's a long story. Well, do you want to be... Okay. Let me know what, what night. Tuesday, Wednesday. You got it. Oh, I'm excited. And if there are any crafts that you can show us. Especially with with, with um, cheese curls. Or what were those things? The sunshine mandala with the, with the cheese sticks okay what about Tuesday night Lulan so Tuesday night would that work or Friday night or you could come Tuesday and you could I haven't set anything up because I've been on tour and I was like uh, it'll all unfold but now I don't have anybody <laughs> but it would be fun to have you on because because I want to know all about the virtual. Oh, we're in Holland. Look, can you see the windmill? There's a windmill. In Holland, Michigan, um, we used to go your menopause. Well, because you have two children. Um, Holland, Michigan, it's, it's all here. They do. Um, they have tulips and they have this whole little place windmills and you can get shoes and and Friday Friday night Friday night Lulanza Friday night from Wally World Pennsylvania Lulanza will be with us on Friday cool um thank you Lou the the person and I can't think of his name the author of The Wizard of Oz spent time in Holland, Michigan and actually wrote part of The Wizard of Oz here in Holland, where we're driving right now. Wally World. And so they've created some um, these beautiful sculptures of like there's a munchkin and a scarecrow and ah, Al, Frank Baum, exactly. I couldn't think of his name, but he lived here. Like we're like probably lived right over there somewhere. And there's a, 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 
part of a um, place in the park where they've made this yellow brick road and I know you guys I couldn't think of staying. <laughs> Sorry, now I feel dumb. What was that guy's name again that wrote The Wizard of Oz? But there's this perfect little selfie ring in this car. And not a ring, but a selfie light here in this car. And I can just sit here and Tom can just keep driving safe and fast. He's a good driver. And this car is groovy. So, and we have a lot of stuff in the car. Hi, Mama Grace. I love you. Hey, Mom, did you know that it was L. Frank Baum that wrote The Wizard of Oz? I did, but I had forgotten. There was a wonderful biopic about him that starred John Ritter. Really? I am not familiar. It was the movie I watched yesterday, Lady of the Lake. I watched Lady of the Lake and then I watched two times. So I walked into the hotel room at one point and the time traveler's wife was on. And then we left and went to do the gig and came home like 11 hours later. And there was the time traveler's wife again, which took place in Waterfleet, Michigan. And not Waterfleet. Wow, Jenna. South Haven, Michigan. No, I would love to see the movie with John Ritter. Oh, John Ritter. Mm, he was so cool. So, anyway, you guys doing all right? Everybody's, everybody's hanging in there. It's shaking. I'm going over some shaky ground right now. Last time we were driving back, my friend Chris Collins was on a, on a family reunion and she came on the show. She was at the show last night. She and Dave drove up. Baum lived in Chicago also. Oz Park. Oh, yeah, right. Makes sense. I've actually never read The Wizard of Oz. I think I, I need to do that. I did read Moby Dick. Um, my friend Robin, another guitar player friend of mine. Thank you. Oh, cool, cool, cool. The Dreamer of Oz. Have you seen the movie The Dreamer of Oz, Tom? He's not seen it either. I didn't know about it. But if you haven't seen The Time Traveler's Wife and you're kind of a romantic, oh, it's a series of books. I have so many books to read right now. So many books. We'll have to check it out. You doing well, Lou? All good? Everything's good? Except it's crazy? And a long story about the school? I'm excited to hear. Yeah, so Chris was on and then Chris and Dave showed up at the gig last night. I love sentimental. What's wrong with sentimental? Gonna take a sentimental journey. Tom's like, Jenna, can you please not sing anymore? I'm kind of tired of hearing your voice. Crazy. I just going to sing another song right now. We're singing a new one. Um, what's the one we're singing now? Ah. Love you more today than yesterday. Uh, uh, uh. Killin'. Killin'. Yeah, good too. Totally. Yep. Let's see where are we? Saga Tuck already? No. How'd that happen? I guess when you just ramble on, time goes by really fast. Or when you're going 90 like Tom, he's not going 90. He's going 95. That really. He's going 57 miles per hour. And we had great food tonight in Petwater. They fed us salmon, wild Alaskan salmon, an acorn squash. Did you like the acorn squash? It wasn't too too perfumey or too had quite a bit of butter in it. But it was really good. And salad. And then we played the gig 
and we had some really funny people there. Dan, Dan, Dan. This guy Dan, he was so <laughs> poor thing. He was he was pretty much getting roasted for about 40 minutes. His family, his girlfriend and girlfriend's sister and her husband, they were on a week-long RV tour of Michigan. And I just he just looked like someone that I could kind of not pick on, but talk about from the stage. I asked him what kind of ice cream he liked and he said blue moon. I'm like, what kind of adult likes blue moon ice cream? But he did. And then it just went from there. He had a drone and and they say that they just they would say Dan 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 so then the guys started playing the song and then I just started, I went with it and like one of the the wives the sister has already messaged me and she said they've been singing Dan, Dan, Dan in the RV. <laughs> so I think if I get a video of it, I'll post a little bit of it because it was pretty funny. It was a Scat for Cats moment and I asked for words. And, people, and they said Dan, Dan, Dan. And then I asked him what his favorite ice cream was and he said Blue Moon. I was like, dude, Blue Moon, come on. And then he had a drink with blue curacao in it, so he really likes blue stuff. I told him he needs to go to New Orleans and have a hurricane. So perhaps that will happen. Anyway, on our way home, and I hope that you're all having a beautiful night. I'm going to say goodbye, and I'm just going to go talk at Tom for the next 40 minutes because I don't think he's heard me talk enough. And I wish you all a beautiful night. See what's the letter tonight? Someone give me a letter and I'll go from there. After I get a letter, I'll I'll I'll, I'll go from there. I'll just go with Dan Dan Dan. So D. Dazzling thoughts. Demure words and a determined heart. Oh, we'll do those letters tomorrow night. B, J and B. J tomorrow night, B on Tuesday with you, Lula. Oh no, you're not here on Tuesday, you're here Friday. I have to wait till Friday to see you? <sighs> All right. Monday meandering. Good night, Mama Grace, I love you. Everybody else, have a beautiful night. And remember, day, Dan, Dan. Love heart.